Welcome to today's workout. Juanita's here helping us out. We're going to start off with a quick warm up with a run in place for 20 seconds. Let's get it going. Got a good one today. <clears throat> Lots of squats, hip bridges. Going to start off just getting that blood flowing, getting the body ready for good workout. Lean it back, lean it back. There we go. Five more seconds. Hitting some up downs. Three. Two, let's tap those toes, big jump in the air, slight bend on the knee, then fully extend that body up there. There we go. Good pace, good pace. Slight bend on the knee when you go down, then big extension when you drive it on up. Let's go four, five more seconds. We're going to switch it up to high knees in place. Three, two, all right, let's high knee it up. So a little bit more intense running in place. You want to get those knees up as high as you can. There we go. Still keeping the core engaged. Upper body solid. Good, good, good. Let's go four, five more seconds. We're dropping it down to push-up position now. Three, two, let's go down. Repping out your push-ups. <clears throat> Focus, of course, on leading with your chest first. Then we'll keep that core engaged in tight. And then we'll keep those shoulders back and down. There we go. Back of the head stays even with the spine, always leading with the chest to avoid jutting your head forward. You never want to let the head lead the movement on the push-up. Last one. All right, let's bring it on up. We got squat position. Just doing regular squats here. You just want to rep them out. Start training and conditioning the body to always lead these squat motions with those hips going back. So the weight stays through the heels, core stays engaged the whole time. There we go, getting them back there. Five more seconds, switching it up to alternating reverse lunges. Ready, three, two, alrighty, let's switch it up. Big step back, dropping that back knee straight down to the ground. Notice how that front leg stays at 90 degrees. Upper body is solid, core is engaged, there we go. We have three more exercises to complete our very quick warm up. Couple more reverse lunges. We're dropping down to mountain climbers. Three, two, all right, let's drop it down. Hands and toes. We want to focus on keeping the chest directly over the thumbs before we even start moving. Just like Juanita's doing, completely straight back. There we go. Good pace, driving those legs out wide. Every time she gets into complete extension. Driving them out. Good, good, good. Couple more. Bringing it on up. Three, two, pop it on up. Plie squat position this time. Going to rep out the plie squats. There we go. Still, of course, leading that motion with those hips going back. Focusing on driving through the heels. Keeping a good, solid upper body. There we go. Big squats all the way down, weight through the heels, get a couple more, we're going to finish off with some high knees, there we go, three, two, all right, let's high knee it up for 20 seconds, we're going to take our first quick break and get started with circuit number one, there we go, there we go, halfway point, good, 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 repping them out, repping them out, get those knees up as high as you can, last five seconds, good, 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 three, Two, awesome. 30 second break coming for circuit number one up next. Yeah, welcome back from the break, circuit number one. We're starting off with plie squats. Just getting a good rhythm here. We're going to get the weight way back through your heels. There we go. Focusing not only on getting those hips back and weight through the heels, but also on keeping a good strong posture. Always with most lower body movements, focusing on getting a good posture, core engaged the whole time. There we go. In through the nose when you go down with these. Big out breath as you come up with those heels. There we go. Five more seconds. We're going to move it onto your back for hip bridges. Three, two, alrighty, onto your back. 
90 degrees with the legs. I want to focus on driving through your heels just like a squat. A small pause at the top to make sure the glutes are and the butt are engaged and feeling tight. And then you'll come down right about halfway or a little bit below. Try not to come all the way down to the ground. You want to keep the tension on that part of the leg that we're working, which is the back of the thigh and the butt. There we go. So driving through your heels. Keeping a relaxed upper body. Let's go four, five more seconds. We're going to bring it on up. Ready? Three, two. All righty. Let's come on up. Alternating reverse lunges now. Big step back. Driving through your front heel. There we go. Good strong upper body up top. Weight is strong through that front heel. Core is engaged the whole time. So remember, big step back. As soon as the toe hits back there, you're just dropping that back knee straight down to the ground. There we go. Finishing it up. We've got five more seconds. We're going to drop down back onto your back and do hip bridge pulses. Three, two, all right. Let's go down. Just keep that weight up at the top. And all you're going to do is come down two inches or so, two or three inches, keeping the tension on the butt and the glutes. And just kind of staying up there, short movements. These pulses are good because it'll help you try to keep tension on those glute and hamstring muscles the whole time throughout the whole movement. There we go. So just barely coming down, making sure you keep that butt engaged the entire time. Keep them up high. We got five more seconds. We're going to bring it on up for another set. Ready? Three, two. All righty. Let's bring it on up. Plie squat position. Starting back with exercise number one for one more round. There we go. Driving those hips way back there with the weight through your heels. Good, good, good. Solid upper body. Got it, got it. Your arms you can pretty much keep wherever they're comfortable. You'll notice we'll need to have them out here a few times, out by the side, right at the hips. Doesn't matter, wherever you're comfortable. There we go. Wait through those heels. Let's go four, five more seconds. We're doing full rep bridges onto your back. Three, two, all right. Let's drop it down. So this time we're going to do full rep. It's, it's good to do the full reps and the pulses. Give your body a different feel with each variation. There we go. So driving those heels into the ground. That really short pause at the top to make sure your butts are fi the glute muscles are fired up and they're engaged the whole time. There we go. Just a good squeeze at the top. Repping them out. We got five more seconds of these. We're going to bring it on up. Good, good, good. Three, two, all righty. Coming on up, we have our alternating reverse lunges. There we go. Big step back. As soon as that toe hits, you drop that back knee straight down to the ground. There we go. Straight down to the ground there. Good, strong upper body. Keeping it going, keeping it going. Getting a good rhythm. We have 10 more seconds. Keep up this pace with us. Juanita's pace is really good. So you can focus on... Completing each movement with great form. Last five to go. We're going to pulse those bridges. Three, two, all right. Let's drop it on down onto your back. There we go. So we're getting all the way up. Remember, and then just two or three inches down, squeeze it up back at the top. So you want to pulse not from the lowest position, but from the highest position when you're fully activated and engaged up there. Just coming down a little bit and keep driving up high. There we go. Big squeeze at the top. Drive it up there, drive it up there. Focus on keeping those muscles tense the whole time, working them up. There we go, there we go. We got five more seconds. Finish up strong. Good, good, good. Three, two, all righty. Let's take a 30-second break. Coming back for circuit number two. Alrighty, y'all, it's time for circuit number two. We're starting off in the split stance squat position, doing full squats, drop down, back knees dropping down, then weights driving through your heels. There we go. 
Four reps here. Good. Weights through that front heel, keeping a good strong upper body posture, of course. All you want to do is drop that back knee straight down to the ground. If you're having any stability or balance problems, just come next to a wall or something sturdy and help you complete this movement perfectly with the 90 degrees on that lower body. Let's do one more. We'll switch it up. All right, let's switch legs. We're doing 25 seconds on each side. Here we go. There we go. Good, strong upper body. Drop that back knee straight down to the ground. There we go. Shoulders back and down strong. Got 10 more seconds. We're going to be moving onto your back to do single leg hip bridges, just like before, but only with one leg. Here we go. Let's do one more after this one. And all right, let's go and drop it onto your back. One heel on the ground, the other leg in the air. And so we're going to do full reps here. So drive it up, squeeze and pause at the top, and then go ahead and drop it back down to about halfway, a little bit below. Of course, if you need to, and you might need to a little bit more than you had to in the other with the two leg, go ahead and drop your back all the way to the ground, regroup, because you do want to focus on keeping the weight through the heel the whole time. There we go. Juanita has her leg in a pretty good position. The lower you keep it to the ground, generally it makes exercise a little bit tougher. So maybe try to go to that halfway point from the ground. Let's go ahead and switch legs. So keeping it from the ground all the way to that complete 90 degree hold. There we go. Good. So first focus is keeping the weight through the heels so you engage the hamstrings and the butt. If you're feeling any like hamstring cramping, don't worry. It's not going to cramp up. It means your muscle's tight and it's doing some good work to the hamstrings and the butt. There we go. So you do want to try to pause at that very highest point. Getting to the highest point is very important on this one. Let's go four, five more seconds. We're going to pop it up. One more exercise for circuit number two. Three, two. All right, and bring it on up. We're going to pulse the plie squat. <clears throat> there we go. So working the same muscles we've been working. We just want to focus on pulsing, kind of fatiguing them out. Get to that parallel point or as close as you can to it. And just, of course, just short, tight movements, about two or three inches up and down. Drive the weight back there. We got five more to go. Coming back to split stance squat. Three, two, all righty. Let's go back to split stance squat. Good. So we're going to watch that front knee, 90 degrees. That makes sure that the weight goes through your heel. Good strong posture, just dropping that back knee straight down to the ground. There we go. Just get a good rhythm here. Make sure that toe's completely on the ground the whole time. The, whole, the foot is completely flat as well. Your knee will pretty much go over your big toe. Last one. All righty, let's go ahead and switch legs. Big step back. Drop the back knee straight down and up. There we go. Drop the back knee down. Strong upper body. Keep it a good rhythm. The breathing is in through the nose as you go down. Big out breath as you come up. There we go. Repping them up, repping them up. Last five seconds. Dropping it back down onto your back. Three, two, all righty. Single leg hip bridges. There we go. Heel into the ground. Leg as straight as you can keep it. The opposite leg. And then we want to squeeze it up at that highest point. And then drop it back down to about middle, a little bit below. There we go. Big squeeze at the top, keeping the tension on. The main muscles you're going to be feeling are the back of the thigh, the hamstrings, and then the butt on that leg that is down on the ground. There we go. Last one. And all right, let's switch legs. Heel into the ground, squeeze it up at the top. There we go. Drive it up there, drive it up there. Pause at the top, come down about halfway, a little bit below. Squeeze the butt at the top there. Good, good, good. Ten more seconds. Keep that good rhythm going. There we go. Last five to go. All the way up. Three, two. All righty. Bring it on up. Plie squat position. Let's pulse it on back. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is drive those hips back the lowest point you can. Start at the lowest point you can, and then as your legs get tired and fatigued, you can start rising up a little bit, making sure that the hips are back and the posture's up strong, just like Juanita's doing here. Try to get those hips back there, all the weights through the heels, a little bit longer. We've got three more seconds. Finishing it up, three, 
to relax. Good job. Take a 30 second break. We have circuit number three next. All right, y'all, welcome to circuit number three. We're gonna do a squat with a reverse lunge. We're gonna alternate the legs. So you'll do a squat in between each lunge. Big step back, there we go. You gotta get wide about shoulder width, a little bit more than shoulder width with the squat, just slightly more. And then after your squat, you'll take a big step back and drop that lunge down, there we go. Notice how she pauses to make sure she's regrouped. Good strong posture. She has a good squat and then a good reverse lunge every time. There we go, five more seconds. Good, good, good. We're gonna go ahead and leave one leg back there. All right, and let's move it to split stance position. Good, and we're gonna pulse it at the bottom. So you're gonna get that back knee as close to the ground as you can. And then you're gonna just come up two or three inches, keeping the tension on your front heel that makes sure you're working the right muscles, all the thigh and that same side butt muscle. There we go. Dropping down, strong at the top, almost there. Three, two, all right, let's go and switch legs. Let's pulse it down. There we go. So all you want to do is get that back knee as close to the ground as you can and drop it low, drop it low. Slight pulses, two or three inches up and down. Good, good, good. We're going for five more seconds. You're going to move it onto your back. Ready? Three, two. All right, let's go down. Single leg hip bridge all the way up. We're going to pulse it from the highest position. There we go. So she went up as high as she could, and now she's coming down two inches and squeezing it back up. Try to keep that tension on that leg the entire time. Of course, if you have to, you can drop the body if you have to, but try to keep it up. We're just going for five more seconds. Tension is on the back of that leg there. Three, two, all right, let's go and switch legs. Focusing on keeping the weight through your heel the whole time, getting them up high. There we go. First get to that highest position and pulse it from there. Good, good, good. Get up, get up, get up. Halfway point. A little bit higher if you can. That highest point. Good, good, good. There we go. Three, two, great. Let's bring it on up. We have another round. Squat, reverse lunge. There we go. Driving those hips way back with each squat. Powering through your heels. Regroup and center yourself at the top and then take a big step back. Good. Drop down, good. There we go. Good squat, power through the heels and 90 degrees on that front leg with the reverse lunges. Really working them legs today. Let's do one more. There we go. Alrighty, we're moving to split stance position now. One big step back and we're going to pulse it at the bottom. There we go. Back knees dropping down. If you have any balance or stability problems, get close to a wall or just something slightly sturdy just to help center your body and make sure you're working the right muscles here. Really important that that knee stays at 90 degrees. You don't want that knee to move forward at all. Almost done. Three, two, let's switch legs. Drop it down. Here we go. Good strong upper body at the top. Drop that back knee close to the ground. There we go, we're going for 20 seconds on each leg. <clears throat> Keeping it low, try to get down one more inch for five more seconds, and we'll go on to the back. Ready, three, two, alrighty, onto your back. One heel down, get to the highest point you can, and then pulse it from there. Two or three inches down, then drive it back up. Good, it'll just be a nice fluid pulse here. Driving through your heels, up and down, good. Driving it up, driving it up. Five more seconds. Get to that highest point now. All the way up. Three, two, let's switch legs. Last time. There we go. Squeezing it up at the top. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Drive the weight through your heels. Get up high, get up high. There we go. Halfway point. 
Really try to get up there now. Driving it up, driving it up. Last five to go. Good, good, good. Three, two, awesome job. 30 second break. We're coming back for our metabolic burnout to finish off the workout. Now time for the metabolic burnout. We have three exercises for three sets. We're going to start off with split stance pulses, 15 seconds on each leg. We just want to really get those muscles burning. Finish them off here. Get that back knee as close to the ground as you can. This metabolic burnout, you want to give it everything you have. Get as low as you can on the squats. Almost done. Three, two, all right. Let's go and switch legs. Get that back knee straight down to the ground. There we go. Really focusing on that front leg, keeping it at 90 degrees. Drop it down, drop it down. Five more seconds. We're going to move it onto your back. Three, two, on your back. Single leg hip bridge pulses. 15 seconds on each leg. There we go. Notice how fast she transitioned to that next exercise. You want to get there and get up as fast as you can. Let's get up as high on this one. Last five to go. Good, good, good. Three. Two, all righty, go ahead and switch legs, get them on up there. Drive the heel into the ground, get up high, get up high, good, good, good. All the way up, all the way up, we got five more seconds, we're coming up for plie jump squats. Three, two, let's pop it on up, plie jump squats for 20 seconds. Now we're going to get the heart rate up a little bit, still keeping those leg muscles engaged. Really activated here, so nice fluid movements, sit back through those heels, there we go. Good strong upper body, if you need to, you can't jump yet, you can go ahead and just finish off with a pulse with these. Almost done, three, two, alrighty, split stance position, second round. Good solid upper body, back knees getting low, getting low, all the weights going through that front heel, good. Drop it, drop it down as low as you can. Five more seconds. Ready, ready. Three, two, switching legs. Getting down there. There we go. Make sure that heel's planted on the ground. Hips are back and engaged. Core is in tight. There we go. Five more seconds. Good, good, good. Three, two, onto your back. Single leg hip bridges with the pulse at the top. Here we go. Heel into the ground, get to that highest point possible. There we go. Squeezing it at the top, keeping the tension on that butt and the hamstrings. Slid a bit higher, almost done. Three, two, switching legs. Here we go. Heel into the ground, get them up there, get them up there. All the way up, all the way up, keeping the tension on. Good, good, good. Let's go for five more seconds. We're going to finish off with our plie squat jumps. Three, Two, let's pop it on up, plie squat jumps. This will complete round number two, and we have one more to complete the workout. Really get those hips back there. Fluid movements, making sure those knees stay 90 degrees. Hips are back no matter what. There we go. Driving through, driving through. Pulsing it if you need to. Last five to go. Good, good, good. Three, two, split stance pulses. Last round. Here we go. Back knees dropping as low to the ground as you can keep it. Good, strong upper body. 90 degrees to that front leg. That's all you got to do. Last five to go. Keeping it down, keeping it down. Three, two, all right. Switch legs. There we go. Back knees down. Upper body strong. Get low, get low, get low. Straight through that heel. There we go. Let's go. Five more seconds. All the way down, all the way down. Three. Two, on your back, single leg hip bridge pulses. Here we go, heel into the ground, driving it up at the top. There we go, for whatever reason you need to do a two leg pulse, it's no problem, but just try to do that single leg first and then go to two legs as you need to, especially if your low back starts hurting. Last little bit, three, two, all right, let's go and switch legs. <clears throat> 
Pulse it up at the top there. Drive it up, drive it up, drive it up. There we go. Keep that heel into the ground. Tension at the top. Last five to go. Let's bring it up for our plie squat jumps. Three, two, all right. Last exercise. Plie squat jumps. Sit back through those heels. There we go. Good fluid rhythm. Landing way back through your heels. Driving them back, driving them back. Good, good, good. Almost done. If you need to, you can finish off with the plie squat pulse. Last five to go. Good, good, good. Three, two, relax. The workout is done. Great job. Hope you enjoyed it. Do your cool downs and we'll see you for the next workout.